Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I want to introduce you to a wonderful ceremonial spoon created by the Dan Cultural Group of West Africa. This is called a wakemia, and it is a ceremonial spoon or ladle that is given to and used by women. I'm going to go into the background of it a little bit before I look at the particulars of the actual object. The Wakimia is bestowed on women who are extraordinary for their hospitality. And when a woman receives the Wakimia, her title is then at feasts acting woman. And what this means is that she is called upon to host very large feasts and she must feed anyone at any time of day that comes to her home wanting food. So in addition to preparing all the food, she must also be an excellent farmer in order to grow the crops that will later be made into the food. She must be outstanding in organization in order to get all the pieces of the feast together, get everything organized. So even though it's an extremely high status object and high status within the community when you obtain this object, it's also a huge responsibility. Now let's look at the object a little more closely. This is a detail from the handle of the object and it is said that it is a portrait of the first woman to have owned the Wakemia. And then it is subsequently passed down from woman to woman. And I'll go into that in a minute. When we look at the object closely, we see that she has a, a beautiful hairstyle, which denotes her high status. And in addition, we also see neck rings of fat around her neck, which is a symbol of beauty as well. We also see that there are holes in her ears. Unfortunately, we do not have the earrings that that would have adorned her. But the overall sense of this carving, this portrait, is really one of a high status individual, a noble individual, and of course she was extremely important in her society. When we pan back out and look at the spoon or ladle as a whole again, we can understand a little bit of what it may have been used for. Obviously, it held something that would easily slip away if you used anything other than some type of spoon. And what it was for was rice. This was used ceremonially. The woman at Feasts Acting Woman would head a procession of masked dancers and she would have rice in her spoon and would lead the way for these particular ceremonies and rice amongst the don is an extremely important commodity it's a staple food item and is used in a lot of dishes that they prepare additionally the wakemia is passed down from a woman who is no longer able to fulfill her duties, usually because of age, and she then chooses the woman that she will bestow the wakemia on and will assume the duties from then on. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.